What's up guys? Welcome back to the Medgross channel and if some of you don't know me by any chance, I'm Shaman and I have my sister here, Core Beauty. Hello. And, uh, and yeah. Starkey. And yes, we also have Starkey here. And in today's video, we're going to give a real, real, not this fake phony stuff, yeah. a real comparison between Yale School of Medicine, which I go to, and Mayo Medical School. And this isn't gonna be, th this isn't gonna be, um, you know, pulling any punches, as Starkey says. <laughs> this is gonna be the real breakdown. So here we go, if you wanna know how to accurately compare schools, or you wanna get a real comparison of what people look at in terms of the quality of the time you're at a school, this is the video to watch. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we want to get into is the environment, the location, the okay. buildings, the area, the um, the general geography. What do you think about your locale? So I am at the Arizona campus, which is pretty similar to California for the most part. I know most Californians, you guys are like, hell no, which is true. In some ways it's not. The weather is all really hot here sometimes, but like right now in November, we're really nice and it's beautiful and all the snowbirds, like meaning people who like have second homes here come here. And so the weather is honestly not too bad. Um, and I would say as far as things to do, we have a good amount of things to do. The only thing I would say is a big negative is at Yale, you guys have different campuses, whether it's like undergrad associated with mm -hmm. it, nursing school, PA school, which makes for a really great community. Like you guys have a ton of people you see all the time and people you to meet. We don't have that, especially me being the part of the second class here at Mayo. There's there, there were no other classes when I even got here. Oh so um, you don't meet too many people. So that's a huge con, I would say. But as far as the environment, like the suburb of Scottsdale, it's pretty nice. Okay, what about like the buildings, the infrastructure? So the stuff again, have? the buildings uh, are <laughs> really small right now, but for everyone else coming in now, they've built this huge, um, like brand new building right next to the hospital, which is really nice. And that'll be ready for all the future classes. So the building that we're in right now is not bad. It was just not built to handle four separate classes, but it was nice when we were there because it was only just like us and one more class. Hmm. So it was, it was a nice new clean building. Um, so I can't complain about that stuff, but definitely small now that there's more classes. Interesting, okay. So I will say to refute a little bit of what Benit said, the weather isn't as good as she's painting here, okay? And during the summer, you will roast. If you, if you are from like California or somewhere else, you step outside and you will literally melt. This dog will not step a yes. foot outside the door during summer. It gets pretty hot. Um, I think uh, Yale, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite in that it snows there during winter, uh, like more February, March, April, which is weird. I thought it was more like November-ish, mm -hmm. December-ish. But, um, when winter comes around, it does get pretty freezing. You have to wear boots. You have to wear like really thick, kind of like, you know, from a California perspective, I never thought yeah. I'd be doing this, but you have to like really gear up with multiple layers mm -hmm. and you got to like rush from place to place if you're trying to move out or walk out in the, um, in the cold. And if you're driving, you've actually got to shovel stuff like snow off of your car yeah. because you, your car can get bogged yeah, down I under all the snow. I can't all, so. Um, so I agree the winters are I'd say the winters are worse over there. Yeah, I sure. think the summers for you are tolerable here. Yeah, um, so in terms of weather Connecticut uh, Yale is in Connecticut New, New Haven, Connecticut if you didn't know and yeah, it does get pretty freezing there so weather will give you that point in terms of the um, Like the buildings and everything Everything is on a pretty, it's basically all on one main road, all the buildings for mm -hmm. like teaching, That's even really the hospital nice. is on the same That's road. That's really nice. So I think it depends on what you prefer. If you want a very integrated, like wide area that people like navigate through, Yale's not the place. Maybe like the Yale University is not the medical school, but on for the medical school, I think they have a really nice library. The uh, classrooms are fine. We have like simulation centers. We have the hospital right there. So everything, that you need for a decent education is there. Yeah, for sure. um, it's just not like like when I interviewed at Harvard. Harvard had a much better looking campus, mm -hmm. so it's not like a looker, but it's uh, it's got everything you need. I don't know why you'd complain about it. Yeah, um, I think I agree. Same here. Like it's everything's new and nice here. It's just um, 
yeah, I mean, I have nothing to complain about for sure. When I toured at different places, I think Mayo definitely had like nice new things, so you can't complain about it. Yeah, so you can't complain about either of our um, facilities, but because you have the better weather, we'll give you the point. All right. All right. Okay. The second category is going to be the faculty. And you're going to have to uh, be honest here, okay? What do you think about the faculty at Mayo? Okay, I think faculty and admin is different. Uh, by the way, I'm already sensing a BS answer <laughs> here. So let's, like just, let's just give me the point. The faculty is the biggest godsend. Admin is unreal. Like, literally the best experience I've ever had in my whole life. I cannot even say one constructive thing. It has just been glorious from start to finish. I, I just can't imagine it being any better than what it is. I heard there was, you have issues, there was all problems just like that. Yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but on a real note, um, faculty and admin are different things. So faculty, I will say the Hospital physicians I work with, I can see why the hospital is where it is today. Uh, sounds really shady, but when I rotate at different sites, there's nothing wrong with those sites, but I feel like the faculty here can tell you so much about a condition versus sometimes they're a little bit more practical in other places, which is fine, it's just to each their own, but I think for an educational environment, you get an unreal like teaching experience here at Mayo from their physicians. You can tell that they are like masters of their craft. So I have to give mad respect to every Mayo physician. The faculty is definitely like next level. Okay. I'd say similar things about- I'm talking about knowledge of faculty. Yeah, right? exactly. I'd okay. say similar things about our uh, faculty. Like they really know what they're mm -hmm. doing. They're way advanced. Um, they're using like advanced equipment technology. They know the ins and outs of the intricacies of like even things you wouldn't think are, aren't written in a book mm -hmm. um, they have down. Um, so I think that in terms of knowledge base and in terms of like willing to teach, I think yeah. the faculty are fantastic yeah. at Yale. Um, I think the administration though is also really fantastic at Yale, like they're willing to go above and beyond, like if you watched our Berkeley video where the administration is just like, they plant their foot down and there's no going from there. Um, but the administration at Yale is more than willing to help you um, succeed, like they will do everything in their power to help you uh, do what you need to do. Yeah. So, I'd say the administration and faculty at Yale might even be the best in I, the world. I agree like, it is that good. The stories I hear from Shaman and the emails that he gets, I'm just like, wow. Like, you have like unreal people rooting for you, and you, you just tell they set up every kid to like succeed beyond like anything that I've ever seen from school. So, I gotta give you that one. Yeah. Definitely. Um, <laughs> there's no, there's no disputing that. Category. Yeah, there's no disputing. I would say honestly, if my, if I had to rank like best educational experience, best school, hands down, and I'm not saying this to shade my place, but like Yale is like. Just that, that's another video. That's another video. Like honestly, from all the places I've interviewed at, from all the uh, students that I know at different medical schools, from all the stories I hear secondhand from different people. Um, the faculty at Yale is above and beyond. The third category then is going to be the curriculum. So what do you think about Mayo's curriculum, both in terms of like the grading, the workload, the um, consistency of the classes, uh, the scheduling, what do you think? I think if you were to ask me this last year, I'd have a totally different opinion. I think, Okay, I think as far as curriculum, I think we are probably one of the more prepared students in the country, comparing my like curriculum block by block to even yours and Herbin's. And I, I feel like don't, when you say that each block, I definitely mm -hmm. like. Yeah, you know your stuff. I feel like we're when we rotate, for the most part, even when I visited Yale for a couple times, like even the third years were like, oh, like I. I think the other schools might place, like Yale might place less emphasis on the, your guys' shelf exams, which is why you guys might not know everything until after step one, and I think a lot of students would admit to that at Yale, mm -hmm. but at Mayo, like, we really are on top of our block, so I appreciate that. We look really prepared when we step out to rotate and etc. but I'd say grading is, because of that grading, it's because of also grading is stressful, so like, 
pass no pass for two years was unbelievable. It was great. Um, however, clerkship grading has been pretty brutal compared to other medical schools. Um, I am feel like I'm back at Berkeley, except even worse, to be honest, um, as far as grading. Mm -hmm. um, I brought it up as a concern too, um, but I mean, we'll see how it impacts things, if it even impacts things, um, but I would say grading is pretty brutal. Yeah, and again, we, we've we seen the stat sheets between like the different uh, schools, and I have to say, it's the most Harshest, brutal system, like the percentages you need. Uh, We're talking for, about clerkships, yeah. Yeah, for clerkships, the percentages you need are ridiculously high compared to the other schools. Yeah. Like, gaps that you can't even imagine. Yeah. Um, like, to get on it from one medical school to another. Uh, so I think that that is a huge uh, negative, and I'm surprised it hasn't been addressed yet. Because if you look at the stat sheets, I don't know if they're publicly they're available. They're not public. Enough. It's more like students comparing. Yeah. Like if you me look, comparing to Shaman versus me comparing to another student here, it's more like that. Yeah. Looking at the stat sheets, it, it, it even surprised me. Um, yeah. When I told Shaman like what I had to get, I didn't believe her. I was like, I was me. like honors. No. Yeah. I like honors at Yale. Getting yeah. a little bit to my point. Um, like first of all, first two years pass fail, clerkship grading is honors and it is not, as long as you try your best and put in a good effort, most Yale medical students do get honors. I think if you, if you're really bad or you're unprofessional, that's when you get dinged. Um, but really if you put in an honors great effort because we don't have shelf exams, um, I think, uh, they're much more lax and I think that's the right way to yeah. go about it. If you want someone to actually learn medicine and learn how to be professional like, per and participate mm -hmm, and learn the clinical skills necessary, I would worry less about this minutia getting a 95% for honors, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Rather, I'd rather have the shelf exams, like you take them but they don't matter in terms of your grade, but you get to emphasize and work on your clinical skills and learn specifically about like the nephrology block or whatever you're doing yeah. at the time during your clerkship. Yeah, I think that might be just a topic for another video, but in general, like I think that if you emphasize too much on grades, then you're going to have students who want to run out of your clinic and leave as soon as possible, but you can't really get mad at them because they still are not going to be taught those things in the clinic that they yeah. will be there's tested a, on. Yeah, just know? so people know, there's a huge disconnect between the step exams the shelf exam. But Yale does not have that disconnect. They know what's up and what's beneficial for students, which is what's really great about your guys' grading system. Yes, thank you for complimenting me, giving me my own point. <laughs> yeah, you get that but, point. Uh, but what do you think about the curriculum in general during like the first two years? First two years was great. I honestly you can't. I mean, great is, it's still med school, right? It's not mm -hmm. like, oh my god, it's so amazing, no complaints. Like, like how was the workload? It was there, but because I think it was pass, no pass, and I wasn't freaking out like over every little thing, I enjoyed my weekends, I still learned, I passed my shelf exams, like, felt like I learned a lot, I didn't have complaints about the curriculum, um, to be honest, like what was included in it, or the grading. You did a little years. bit of complaining about mandatory classes. That's what I complained about, but yeah, that's what I was being specific about, <laughs> complaints about the curriculum, but they changed that now, so it's improving for the future classes. That is, isn't that so sad, sad yeah. when they change something after you leave? I know, y'all need to credit like some of us who like raised hell over it because I was not a fan, but you guys don't Yeah, that and anymore. the country's obviously going towards... Yeah, um, it's just sad like, they online. weren't going towards that last year. Yeah, you, I guess you're class was a little bit behind. Fourth category is going to be opportunities, whether there's research opportunities, opportunities to shadow, volunteer, um, anything of the sort. So what do you think about that extracurricular bucket? I think they do a pretty good job. I would say there's a lot of open doors once you are at Mayo. They have a pretty good amount of research opportunities, especially for it being a new campus. Like. If you want to do Durham research, there's good Durham research going on there. You can get connected to whoever you want to. There's program directors who, even though they're relatively, well, the residencies are not as new as maybe the school is, but definitely there are program directors that will connect you to if you want to go to like UCLA, they'll make a phone call for you. Like, there's a lot of doors open, some networking opportunities for sure. Um, I mean, because it's small and new, I think you kind of have to search, or we had to search for them a little bit more maybe, and like be the pioneers in a way, but for the most part, to be honest, you could reach out and get connected to someone if you wanted to. Okay, so yeah, I'd say they're 
similar enough in that I would say the same thing. I would say people are very willing to work with you on different projects, on um, different research points in your own time schedule. Mm -hmm. And I'd say that because it just the uh, just because New Haven is a very bustling city with a bunch of diverse people, yeah. I think there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer, a lot of opportunities to you know contribute to the community. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. Yeah, we can get that a tie ish. Yeah, you, you guys might have, I think it's more of apples and oranges. Like, there are different opportunities. Like, I think you guys have an inner city population that you can even cater to. Mm -hmm. We might not have that necessarily in Scottsdale, travel to like Phoenix. But, I mean, yeah, there's just like different types of opportunities in both. I yeah, think. so we'll give that one a tie. Okay. It's close. Yeah. The fifth category is going to be a quick one. What about how are the finance, how's the financial situation over at Maine? Oh. Do they um, give like scholarships? How much is the base tuition? And what is, what is the uh, all right? What's so it's stat? med school and it's expensive. So um, it's kind of it doesn't really change every year. But I'll put up the updated one on the screen mm -hmm. um, for the tuition every year. Um, but they do give scholarships. They do give out scholarships. Um, Shaman had a full ride to Mayo. <laughs> Just so <laughs> you guys know, they were. Right, that's great. actually a good case experiment. I had a full ride to Mayo. Oh yeah, that's and a then good. And I got into Yale. I also got a scholarship at Yale. I don't care. Yeah, some people are like so hidden with their finances. I'll yeah. let you know. But yeah, I got a scholarship at Yale as well. But I got a full ride at Mayo, and I still went to Yale. So that's all you need to know. Yeah, but that, we'll that was Shaman's decision making. Um, yeah, but we'll talk about that yeah, another time. Why Shaman did that? But. Um, so yeah, they're pretty generous, uh, especially with Shaman. I have a scholarship as well. Again, like it's not freaking secrets, whatever. Um, and yeah, so I knew a good amount of people who have scholarships at Mayo. Um, I don't think everyone gets one. Yeah, I don't think a lot of these schools are struggling. Like if you look at the amount of money that they have and the amount of money that like tuition brings in, yeah. like if you look at these graphs, it's a tiny amount. So they would be losing almost nothing by making medical school free. Yeah. And they would be relieving a ton of pressure on students, especially the ones that don't get scholarships and that are paying upwards of like 60,000 yeah. um, every year. Like that's crazy. And uh, I think it would go a long way. Some schools have already made medical school yeah. cool free. I think that's the way the future is gonna be headed, uh, but we're just not there yet. And um, yeah. But in terms of the finances, I'd say we're about out of time. Yeah, we're about out of time. I think both schools are pretty Pretty good with finances. Yeah, pretty good relative what we see now. But the I future, think your cost of living might be higher in New Haven though, just for Yeah, because yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. But it's still tie now. Yeah. Okay. So that's a tie. But after medical school you apply to different residencies and each school has students that match, don't match, match into you like something that they didn't want, mm -hmm. match into like less competitive schools. Mm -hmm. So comparing the match lists. So I'm at the Arizona campus. I keep practicing everything. Um, so we actually have our first match coming up in a couple months. So that's going to be really cool to see. Um, everyone's predictions are they're going to be very similar to Rochester's match, which I'm pretty confident it's going to be that way as well. Um, so match-wise, I think we have almost 100% match rate. Um, most years are 100%. Um, so I think, I mean, it's pretty, it's a pretty safe school as far as you can pretty much get into anything you want if you put in the effort. There's no so are they, Matt, is every specialty basically counted for yes. in your math list? Okay, yeah. so basically everything's on the table. Yeah. Um, what type of schools are people matching to? Like competitive schools? So yeah, they definitely match it to competitive schools. I've seen UCSF, I've seen UC San Diego, I've seen... But the one thing I'll say is that when I look at your match list, I definitely see more... Thanks for making my points for Well, I, I'm... Okay, I'm not... I feel like... Mm, I don't know. Y'all just is like, I see your guys' stuff and it's just like so much you more. You know, like I agree. Well, comparing the match list, I would definitely say that Yale has a much stronger match list because every specialty is accounted for in both, um, like even the most competitive ones. Uh, people are getting into competitive schools in both cases, but you just see more yeah. students getting to very top schools like, like Harvard and Yale. And yeah. um, obviously, like, there's also the benefit of Yale students getting into you. Uh, Yale again, you know, yeah. but that just looks good. And then a bunch of students going to Harvard. Um, for I think residency, Yale so. has a lot of connections to other Ivy Leagues. Exactly. If you look at the maps list, you'll see a lot of concentration like Columbia, on the East Coast. Columbia, Harvard, Brown. Like I think you guys have a good network 
Um, and I'm not saying Mayo doesn't, I just think they're different networks. But I think if you are trying to be in the Ivy League crowd, you probably should go to an Ivy League med school. Yeah. Um, just because they, I feel like they just talk so much more. Like they're just so intertwined over there. Yes, exactly. Um, and again, this is the real scoop here, okay? Yeah, Every time scoop. you go to like an interview, they'll be like, yeah, our match list is fantastic. You'll ask the students, the match list is fantastic. You go to another school, they say the exact same thing. You don't have a good idea of what's what. Yeah. So this is a very uh, in-depth yeah. comparison. But obviously, how like, if you get into uh, obviously any of these schools, like, I can't complain about our match list. Exactly. exactly. Like, We're also comparing to very good schools, right? So obviously the match list is going to be yeah. better than most schools in both cases. Yeah. But um, just comparing between the schools. It's depending on what your goal is. Like for me, I honestly would really love to match back into Mayo. So I probably actually do have a better chance being in my school than Yale. Yeah. So to be honest, like it's actually probably better off that I'm in Mayo. So I mean, it just depends on what you want, what you're looking for. If your goal is to be, you know, Yale trained throughout residency, obviously you're gonna have a better chance at Yale to do that. So I think it just depends what your goal is, um, but you're good in both spots. You're gonna exactly, spots. these differences. All right, I think the score count is what? Like four, two, five, three, yeah, something like something that. Like that. Uh, we'll have the final tally yeah. here, but again, this is between two very top schools, but I just wanted to give this video to you guys so you know talk what to compare and talk about when you're talking to a student at Mayo, for instance. Mm -hmm. Well, we already gave you the scoop because we're students there, but when you go to a, like UCSF and you want to talk to the students about um, like what it's actually like yeah, during interview day. This is the kind of type of stuff you want to ask, and this is the type of nitty gritty. Like you want to really get into that about what is a match list like. Like is it more West Coast centric? Um, like all the different specialties are accounted for. If you're in like a um, I don't know medical school in like Michigan, they'll tell you at that medical school in Michigan that they have a great match list. But you want to ask, are the competitive specialties accounted for? Like are people matching? From that school yeah. so that's the type of questions you want to ask and i hope this video helps with that mm -hmm. and if you want to see more content like this feel free to subscribe we'll be making weekly content uh check out the podcast i know our first two podcasts mm -hmm. had some technical issues the third one is going to be um Five. hopefully slick yeah but uh check out the podcast it's me herman the other med bro and beneath and also, she made a video mm -hmm. on um, Sikhism and a bit of a controversial video there. Uh, so if you want to go check out some uh, controversy, go some check tea. out her channel, Core some type Beauty. And tea. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, we hope you enjoy this video, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.